Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into the new Termux hacking tools for 2024 that are making waves in the ethical hacking and penetration testing community. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, these tools will help you expand your skill set, boost your cybersecurity knowledge, and take your penetration testing to the next level. So grab your devices and let's get started. First things first, if you're new to Termux, it's a powerful terminal emulator for Android, allowing you to run a full Linux environment directly from your smartphone or tablet. It's lightweight, easy to set up, and ideal for ethical hacking, cybersecurity research, and even pen testing, all from the palm of your hand. Think of it like this. It's kind of like having a portable hacking lab you can take anywhere. You can install all sorts of hacking tools and utilities just like you would on a regular Linux machine, and the best part, it's completely free and open source. Now, you might be thinking, why would I use Termux for hacking when I have a perfectly good computer? Well, for starters, it's incredibly convenient. You can practice your hacking skills on the go, whether you're on the bus, at a coffee shop, or just relaxing at home. Plus, using Termux on Android can sometimes give you a different perspective on network security. You're interacting with networks and devices in a way that's similar to how many people use their phones every day, which can be really insightful. Plus, let's be real, there's just something cool about hacking from your phone. It feels like something out of a movie, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. We're all about ethical hacking here, so make sure you're only using these tools on systems you have permission to test. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download Termux from the Play Store. It's completely free, and it's the foundation for all the awesome tools we're going to be talking about today. Once you've got it installed, fire it up and let's get this hacking party started. Let's start with Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3, an advanced Wi-Fi phishing tool that's become a favorite in the ethical hacking community. This tool is a game changer for network penetration testing. With Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3, you can create rogue Wi-Fi access points and perform man-in-the-middle attacks. Now, before you start thinking about all the mischievous things you can do, remember, we're using these tools for good, to learn and to improve network security. So how does Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 actually work? Well, it basically tricks devices into connecting to your fake access point, thinking it's a legitimate network. Once a device connects, you can intercept network traffic, inject malicious scripts into users' browsers, and more. This tool is incredibly valuable for demonstrating real-world Wi-Fi vulnerabilities. Imagine you're giving a presentation on network security. What better way to drive the point home than to show how easily a rogue access point can capture sensitive information? It's a powerful reminder for people to be careful about the networks they connect to. But Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 isn't just about phishing. It can also be used for legitimate security testing. You can use it to analyze network traffic, test the strength of your Wi-Fi passwords, and even identify potential vulnerabilities in your own network. Of course, with any tool this powerful, it's crucial to use it responsibly and ethically. Only use it on networks you own or have permission to test, and always inform users afterwards that they were part of a controlled test. Next up is Ngrok, a tool you've probably heard of if you've ever worked with Metasploit or other penetration testing frameworks. Ngrok is all about creating secure tunnels to your local host, allowing you to expose local servers to the internet. This is a crucial tool for pen testers who need to access local services remotely. Now, you might be wondering, why would you need to expose your local server to the internet in the first place? Well, let's say you're developing a web application on your computer and you want to test it with a colleague who's in a different location. And Grok lets you create a secure tunnel so your colleague can access your web app as if it were hosted on a public server. But in Grok's usefulness goes way beyond simple web development testing. It's a favorite among penetration testers and security researchers who need to access vulnerable services or devices remotely. For example, let's say you're testing a vulnerable web application that's running on your local machine. With Ngrok, you can create a public URL that allows you to access that vulnerable application from anywhere in the world. This is incredibly useful for testing security tools, practicing attack scenarios, and even demonstrating vulnerabilities to clients or colleagues. It's like having a magic portal that lets you access your local services from anywhere, securely and easily. 
Setting up NGROC is surprisingly simple. You just download the client for your operating system, run a single command in your terminal, and boom, you've got a secure tunnel up and running. NGROC even offers a free plan that's perfect for basic testing and experimentation. Chapter 4. Recon Eng, the Reconnaissance Powerhouse. For all your reconnaissance needs, we have Recon Eng. This powerful OSINT framework is perfect for gathering intelligence on targets from individuals to organizations. With Recon Eng, you can automate information gathering tasks, perform vulnerability assessments, and generate detailed reports. This tool will make your recon phase more efficient and comprehensive, saving you time when conducting pen tests. Now, if you're new to ethical hacking, you might be wondering what exactly is reconnaissance? Well, think of it like this. Before you launch into a full-blown attack, you need to gather as much information as possible about your target. This is where Recon Eng comes in. It's like having a team of private investigators at your fingertips scouring the internet for any piece of information that might be useful. We're talking email addresses, social media profiles, IP addresses, domain names, you name it, Recon Eng can probably find it. But Recon Eng isn't just about passively gathering information. It can also be used to actively probe systems for vulnerabilities. For example, you can use it to scan for open ports, identify web server software, and even test for common vulnerabilities. The beauty of Recon Eng lies in its modularity. It comes with a wide range of built-in modules that you can use to perform different reconnaissance tasks. And if you need something specific, you can even create your own custom modules using Python. Chapter 5. Air Snort. Cracking the code of WEP. Let's talk about AirSnort, an oldie but a goodie for Wi-Fi network testing. AirSnort is specifically designed to crack WEP encryption. It listens to traffic on wireless networks and attempts to recover WEP keys, especially those with weak configurations. While WEP is outdated and insecure, you may still encounter it. And AirSnort can help test and exploit these vulnerabilities in your network audits. Now I know what you're thinking. WEP? Isn't that ancient history in the world of Wi-Fi security? You're not wrong. WEP is notoriously weak and has been for a long time. But believe it or not, there are still networks out there using it. Maybe they haven't updated their router in a while, or maybe they just don't know better. That's where Air Snort comes in. It's like that one friend you call when you need to break into your old locker because you forgot the combination. It's not the most sophisticated tool in the world, but it gets the job done. AirSnort works by capturing packets of data being transmitted over the network. As it collects more and more packets, it analyzes them to try and crack the WEP key. The more traffic there is on the network, the faster AirSnort can usually crack the key. Now, I want to be clear. Using AirSnort to crack into someone else's Wi-Fi network without their permission is illegal and unethical. Don't do it. However, if you're testing your own network or have permission to test someone else's, AirSnort can be a valuable tool for demonstrating the weaknesses of WEP and the importance of using stronger encryption methods. Chapter 6 IP Geolocation Pinpointing Your Digital Footsteps Another tool worth mentioning is IP Geolocation. This tool helps track and identify the physical locations of IP addresses. It's great for OSINT investigations and network security assessments. With just an IP address, you can pinpoint the geographical location of a target, which can be useful in both offensive and defensive cybersecurity tasks. Now, before you start thinking about all the ways you can use this for stalking, let's be clear, using IP geolocation for any malicious purpose is a big no-no. This tool is meant for ethical hacking and security research. That being said, IP geolocation can be a powerful tool in the right hands. For example, let's say you're investigating a series of cyber attacks and you've managed to trace the attacks back to a specific IP address. Using IP geolocation, you could potentially pinpoint the physical location of the attacker. Of course, it's not always that straightforward. Attackers can use VPNs and other methods to mask their true location, but even then, IP geolocation can still provide valuable clues that can aid in an investigation. IP geolocation can also be useful for defensive security purposes. For example, let's say you're a website administrator and you notice a lot of suspicious activity coming from a particular IP address. You could use IP geolocation to see if that IP address is associated with a known malicious actor or if it's coming from a region where you wouldn't expect to see legitimate traffic. 
Chapter 7, Blacktrack, the Network Infiltration Specialist. Blacktrack is an incredible network infiltration tool designed for scanning and attacking targets across networks. It supports a wide range of attacks, including information gathering and exploitation. Whether you're testing a network for vulnerabilities or simply doing some penetration testing, Blacktrack has you covered with various attack options. Think of Blacktrack as a Swiss Army knife for ethical hacking. It has a tool for almost every stage of a penetration test, from reconnaissance to exploitation. You can use it to scan for open ports, identify vulnerabilities, launch brute force attacks, and much more. One of the things that makes Blacktrack so powerful is its automation capabilities. You can create custom scripts to automate complex attack scenarios, saving you a ton of time and effort. This is especially useful for repetitive tasks like scanning large networks or brute forcing passwords. Blacktrack also has a user-friendly interface, which makes it a great option for both beginners and experienced pen testers. The interface provides a clear overview of your target network, making it easy to identify vulnerabilities and launch attacks. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Blacktrack is a powerful tool that should only be used for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Using it against systems or networks that you don't have permission to test is illegal and could land you in serious trouble. Chapter 8, Instabuster, the Instagram Security Auditor. Instabuster is a tool built for testing Instagram account security. While we all know Instagram accounts are a popular target for hackers, Instabuster takes things up a notch with advanced brute force attack capabilities. It can also assist in analyzing vulnerabilities in account security. But remember, always test ethically and get proper permission before using these tools on any live accounts. Now you're probably thinking, why would I need a tool specifically for testing Instagram security? Well, Instagram is one of the most popular social media platforms in the world with over a billion active users. That's a lot of potential targets for hackers. Instabuster helps you understand the security risks associated with Instagram accounts. It does this by attempting to brute force account passwords, which essentially means it tries different password combinations until it finds the right one. This might sound scary, but it's an important part of ethical hacking and penetration testing. By simulating a real-world attack, Instabuster can help you identify weak passwords and other vulnerabilities in your own Instagram account or in the accounts of clients who have given you permission to test their security. It's important to emphasize that using Instabuster against accounts without permission is illegal and unethical. This tool is meant for educational and ethical hacking purposes only. Chapter 9. Termux API. Unlocking Android's Potential. And last but not least, we have Termux API, which extends Termux's capabilities by giving you direct access to Android's hardware and software features. You can interact with the camera, GPS, and sensors, and even automate tasks like location tracking directly from the terminal. It's a must-have for anyone looking to leverage the full power of Termux on Android. Think of Termux API as a bridge between the Linux environment of Termux and the native features of your Android device. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and even just automating everyday tasks on your phone. For example, let's say you're a penetration tester and you want to see if you can gain access to a device's camera through a vulnerable app. With Termux API, you could potentially write a script that interacts with the camera API and attempts to take a picture or record a video without the user's knowledge. Or let's say you're just a tinkerer who loves automating things. You could use Termux API to create a script that automatically sends you your GPS location every hour, or a script that turns on your Wi-Fi when you get home and turns it off when you leave. Termux API is incredibly powerful and versatile but it's important to use it responsibly. Always make sure you have permission before accessing someone else's device or data, and be aware of the potential privacy implications of the scripts you create. And there you have it, folks. These are just a few of the amazing Termux tools you can start using in 2024 to elevate your ethical hacking and penetration testing skills. As always, make sure to use these tools responsibly and within the bounds of the law. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more cybersecurity tutorials, 
and drop a comment below if you have any questions or want me to dive deeper into any of these tools. Until next time, stay safe, stay ethical, and keep hacking.